So let's continue now with the Buccaneers, Spurrier at the helm, Carter Williams, McKay, Moore, Owens, and we've also got some folks, uh, Mr. Davis here, Charlie Davis, a two-pointer, 357 outside guy. Might as well uh, start emphasizing the short pass. I had big uh, uh, first and uh, first and 10 here on a 22 equals six on Spurrier's card. And the Patriots were in a G line on that fourth and two. Even if they'd been in the D setting, the Patriots would have given up four yards for the first down. So it's first and 10 for the 76 bucks at their uh, 47. And the current versions of the game since 1983, really, the, uh, uh, the master game and the basic derivative, you're not supposed to be able to key a receiver in a G line setting. You're not supposed to key the runner if you're in the D or lightest or pass defense setting, but you can key the runner or receiver in the standard. I kind of ignore that rule. I'm kind of going back and forth here between choosing the receiver by the um, uh, the old allocation chart here or actually just naming the receiver for uh, speed of play there. So let's send a short pass out to uh, Morris Owens against the standard, right? 22 and a half plays to go. And uh, let's see. It's a 26 for Spurrier. That's a 13. It's going to be B to Owens against the standard. 13B standard is actually four yards. And again, this is just what happened with the Raiders. The Buccaneers get just enough mileage for Grogan. That 26 is a 35. But from Steve Spurrier, the 26 is a 13 to Morris Owens. The B elevates the C grade team to a B for the pass, and that's uh, four yards to Morris Owens. And Spurrier actually hasn't, I mean, he's a 50% quarterback, and that's inbounds, a full play. Second six at the uh, New England 49, and the uh, Buccaneers, well, why not? Let's see, uh, uh, Williams inside against the standard. Uh, it's a 51, oh, 51, and they keyed him. Ah. <laughs> Keying the, with the blue die, even they key, odd they don't. I didn't key any other thing there. Uh, 41, so it's a four against the standard. Inside run, Mr. Williams. The four drops to a three, so it's not terrible. Williams three. And it's full play. Third and three at the 46. Short pass to McKay against a standard. 63, ooh, 63, short to uh, McKay against the standard is 18, ooh, that's 18 D standard, that's uh, incomplete, oh, are we going to go for it a fourth time, fourth and three at the 46, well, again, the Buccaneers defense has held just enough here, so it's fourth and three, the, the Buccaneers uh, they failed to convert on the fourth and uh, two. Well, they had a fourth and four down here at the New England 29. The field goal attempt was blocked. The uh, fourth and eight, they punted. They tried the uh, the fourth and two at the 45, no gain. Um, they were Yeah, they were at their own 45, but they figured, uh, and they did, they were correct in holding the Patriots with their... Uh, Creamsicle defense, and uh, fourth and three at the 46. I mean, you know, why give up the ball? I'd say uh, let's go short pass to, and I remember Lewis Carter. I haven't used him too often. He's got those ones at that halfback pass at 11, 22, 33, and 66. So, uh, I don't know. I wonder if we maybe send a Spurrier in an outside run. Uh, blue. 1-6, Spurrier outside. The other would be a short pass to Williams uh, against a standard. So it's uh, 20 plays or 10 minutes to go. Fourth and three at the 46. Uh, let's see. It's a one. Spurrier's going to take it. 36, outside run. Oh, minus 8-J. Ugh. Matt, nah, see? Shoot. Minus eight and an injury. And six is the quarterback. Well, there you go. And a player of jaded three misses no more than the remainder of the game, even if the roll results in a longer period of time. There's no restriction on the injury of a player rated J4.
Well, he's a J3. He's up to the, he misses more up to the game. Yeah. And he rolls a five. Remainder of the quarter plus a quarter. So Spurrier could come back if you want. Fourth and one at the 37. And I think uh, they're going to bring uh, do Calhoun and Cunningham in here. And it's going to be uh, uh, Calhoun, who's got the one breakaway uh, against a G. Inside G. They key it. Uh, it's Calhoun inside G. Is a 22 AG. But they key. 22 AG is a three. Key to nothing. Wow. Patriots have a 44-point offense. Against the 29 defense, they're 15 points of the advantage, well within the A, and still the key, hey, now there you go. So, taking over on downs, a lot of fourth down attempts here, staying around midfield, keeping it interesting. Now, Parnell Dickinson at quarterback, first and 10 at the 37, PD at QB. Dickinson, let's see, taking Dickinson to uh, Owens against the standard long. Long. Ah, uh, 32 is uh, 17 C standard. That's just nothing. Second 10, 37. Let's go Carter in outside standard. Carter outside's a 52. Ah, uh, 31 C standard. Minus 6. Ugh. 16 at the 31. Well. Brian Essex Johnson in again. Let's go short to Johnson D line, I guess. Why not? It's a 26, is 36 B D. Short pass. Incomplete and an injury. All right, the Patriots defense. The right end. Right in on the Patriots. Julius Adams, who for a quarter. J1. They can only be out for a quarter, so yeah. Julius Adams is bringing Richard Bishop for a bit there. Mr. Dave Green's going to punt from the. That's a 64 on his K is a 20. And that extra die, 20. And it's a 4. 42 D11. Six yards for Mike Haynes. First and 10 for the. Pats at the 33. Let's go Johnson outside run standard. Johnson is a 64. 36. 7 TE equals, and that's a half play. The penalty is offensive offsides. Pats offsides. First and 15 at the 28. Uh, break for the Bucks. That's first and 15. Uh, let's see, they're going to go short to, I think, Vataha against a D. Short Vataha, D, 54, Grogan is a 22, uh-oh. Patriots are well in the A index, but they're throwing to Vataha, who is a C, so you meet in the middle, and that is a B index, and that's not going to be great. Remember, A team, C receiver, B index, that's a 22, B, D, is five yards D6. Now, do I want to roll for that? I'm just going to let it be. Five W D6. That's your left backer. All right. That's Jimmy Gunn. Now, maybe we should do the uh, roll there. Ah, jeez. He already had the one. Five D6 was the fumble recovery. I'm going to let him have it. Jimmy Gunn. He doesn't have an interception number here. In fact, who did? Stone, Cotney, Jordan on the interception, so you could try to allocate it. It's a 15, so we read across. Now we've got all our defenders here. Who's in the game? It's gonna be Stone, Cotney, or Jordan, basically. So the 15, you read across. I think it's gonna be Mark Cotney first. Yeah, Mark Cotney from the safety spot, huh? Is supposed to have uh, jumped up there. It's a 63 29. Minus one, of course, right? First and 10 for the Bucks at their 30, at the Patriot 34 with 12 plays or six minutes to go. Big, big interception there from Mark Cotney. Wow. Again, the uh, first and uh, 15 after the uh, offside on New England, and there you go. Let's go, uh, Dickinson Short McKay Standard. Uh, 54. Parnell is a 20. Yeah, 20B standard is zip. Second down. 
All right, I'll keep Essex Johnson in for a bit. That's uh, Ed Williams' uh, inside standard is 42. 22C standard. God. Keyed zero. Buck's going to waste this opportunity. I think it's four down territory again. Let's go uh, short to more against a D. 31. Dickinson's a 16 B D. Uh, incomplete. Well, why not? I mean, you got the gift. Fourth and 10 at the 34. Uh, one or six scramble. Otherwise, it'll be a short pass to uh, McKay. D line. One or six is scrambles. That's not. So it's a 35 short to McKay. 35 11 BD. It's four yards. And that's it. Short to McKay. Well, it'll get you to the 30. All right. Pats take over at the 30. First and 10 at the 30. All right. Let's go. Uh, Long to Stingley against a standard. Long to Stingley, 42 is a an 11 B standard long. Ooh, that's right, 11, all right. Again, Stingley is a C, the team's an A, so that you meet in the middle, it's a B. Long to Stingley against a standard line, 42, 11 on Dickinson's, that's a 20. But Grogan flings an 11 B Standard 25 to Stingley. Ah, oh, Mr. Daryl Stingley. 25 yards. First down. All right. Eight plays, four minutes to go. First and 10 for the Pats at the Bucks. 45 again. Uh, let's see. Uh, Johnson outside. Uh, Johnson outside standard. Is a 25. Is 9 a standard. They keyed him now. 9A standard key from, ooh, from 8 to 2. Wow. Two yards stead, 8, second and 8 at the 43. That's a full play. Let's go uh, short to Johnson against a standard. Is 26. Grogan, 35A standard. Ooh, 35A standard is... 7-T-5, and I believe that's just a pass interference. First and 10 at 36, half play. So that was seven, that's six and a half, all right? Okay. All right, now uh, let's see, Johnson Cunningham. Let's go, uh, let's go maybe uh, short to Russ Francis. Short to Francis, uh, standard line is 16, ooh, 33, A standard. I'm gonna use the F36 on the basic game, and it's a 12. Ooh, goes in the Bucks' favor, look at that. So, uh, Grogan passing to, yeah, Grogan passing to Francis, A index is a 16, 33, A standard, was 15 fumble, 010, the right halfback would be your uh, Vataha, and you could, he could still advance the ball, but in this case, I'm using the allocator. It's minus 18 and it's D6 is Jimmy Gunn again. So that changed the dynamic there from a 15 yard gain. That's good to get the bucks a break. 15 yard gain and recovery by it would have been Vataha. It's now Jimmy Gunn, <laughs> minus 18, D6. So that's a big, either a bad snap or a sack and a fumble, right? So from the 36, it's 8, 18, and Jimmy Gunn. Wow, I love it. Now you get deprived of the interception. Jimmy Gunn. All right, what do we got? And that's 32. Won't be much. 32 is a 25 on a fumble recovery. Jimmy Gunn falls on it. Jimmy Gunn, unbelievable. That's a first and 10 for the Bucks at their 46. Some charmed situation going on here. That's six minutes, three plays, first and 10 at the New England 46. Can they escape with a score? Man, this has been a, an incredible bear, battle. Now, you want to try to move in Dave Green's. Dave Green's hit at least a 53-yarder this season. So, Jimmy Gunn recovered a fumble back here early in the game. The, there's something about this game. 
There's a feeling about this game that the Bucks are letting it all hang out, and the Patriots need this game. So the Bucks would love to be spoilers because the Colts and Patriots are tied at 10-3 for the AFC East. One wins, one loses. It's easy math. But the Colts put up 58 points on the Bills this head-to-head -head matchup, and the Patriots-Colts split their two regular season games. So uh, that was six and a half plays, that fumble. Ball went over Grogan's head, rolled, rolled, rolled. Jimmy Gunn broke through the line, got through there. First and 10 at the 46, Parnell Dickinson. Uh, Spurs not coming back to the fourth quarter. Let's go um, Johnson outside standard. Essex Johnson keeping him in. Ah, oh, geez, 61. Let's see standard. Four yards, nice gain. Second down. Full play, second six at the 42 of New England. All right, let's go Williams inside standard. Williams inside standard again with the key, again with the 61. The 61, eight. See standard. Three yards down to two. All right. Steady on. Third down, it's a two minute warning. It is third and four at the 40. Parnell Dickinson, if it's a blue die, one or six, He's going to take it outside, otherwise it's a short pass to Owens. It's a two. Oh, my goodness. It's a short pass to 60. It's a 66. Dickinson, that's, oh, my God. Oh, I hate to do the key because mm. I'd have to re-roll technically for the key. I was rolling the, using the blue die for the thing. 66. Beautiful. It's a short pass to Owens, so it's C index, standard line. Again, those big, big ones for Dickinson. Why not? Let it out. Let it happen. Um, it's a standard line. Oh, well, I got to roll for the key. It's only fair. Ah, they keyed it. From 29s, it's 10 out of bounds to Owens. Hey, it's still a heck of a play. 10 out of bounds to Owens. Had it been a long pass, it would have been the bloody touchdown up here. Oh, God. First and 10 at the 30, though. Oh, man. I uh, got too conservative there. First and 10 at the 30. Three and a half plays to go. Keeping Essex Johnson in. Oh, that would have been a touchdown. I, I screwed it up. First and 10, and they're, now they're at that 30, so they're past the... They moved into the second field position, which is a little tighter to get yardage in, obviously. Uh, let's go uh, short to Owens standard. 36, eh. it's 35 B standard, no, 35 B standard is four yards and a J injury. Now, at this two minute war, you can take that short pass under seven, kind of as a half play. So, three plays to go, minute and a half, uh, second and six at the 26, the J, there's an injury. It's New England. It's four. So Patriot down is the left end. Now, now McGee is out. Uh, McGee, wow. Well, McGee is out for you know, nine. McGee is out to the fourth quarter. So we've got, uh, well, we've got, who else we have in here? We have Mel Lunsford. Okay, Lunsford and Bishop are in there. Man, the uh, McGee and Adams, the... Uh, Left and right ends of the uh, Patriots are hurting here. Second and six at the New England 26. Let's go short the more standard. This is incomplete. Yeah, I'm going to let the half a play. Third and six of the 26 D line, in which case I'm now going to send uh, Williams up the gut. Williams inside 31 is a four. CD. They didn't key him. Aha, finally. 31 is a 4 CD. And you're in that different position. 4 CD is 9 yards. There you go. That's why I generally call a standard line. And obviously, knowing that they're going to be in the D line, you run them. Right. So 31 is a 4. 9 yards for Williams. And I think it just befits the chutzpah. 9, I got to call a timeout. 2 minutes. First and 10 at the 17, they get two timeouts, they get two plays. 
Wow. Beautiful. First and 10 at the 17. You got two plays left. So that means a minute to go. That's four plays. Play is 30 seconds. Half play is 15. They got two timeouts to go. You've got two plays, one play. So it's, you get the two, one and a half, one half. All right, so you got four plays to go here, two timeouts. I'd say short to Owens standard is a 25, 18 B standard. Oh. Incomplete, second down. Play and a half, second 10 at the 17. You go that light line, you get caught again. I should roll for the... Nah. Second 10 to 17, I'll go uh, D. Uh, Johnson outside. Why not? Johnson 65 is 9. So you standard against a D. Four yards out of bounds. It's third and six at the 13. Third and six at the 13. One play to go. 30 seconds in the back. The Bucks have both their timeouts, so what do you do? I call stand the line. It's going to go short to Moore. Short to Moore is a 31. Uh-oh. 31, 16 B standard. Mm. Is two to Moore. Call it out of bounds with a half play to go. All right. Fourth and four at the 11. Field goal. Dave Green trying the field goal. Oh, my God, is a 33-18 from the, again, we got to say change the kicking rule. They didn't reprint the boards. So he's at the 11, but you're reading from the 21-yard line. So he's reading the 20 to 28. The 33 on his card is an 18. That's a killer because that's darn good. That's good for good long distances. That's actually, that would have been good, unbelievably, up to, uh <laughs> The 39 would have been a 49. Wow, that would have been a 56. Could have been a 56 yarder. And he doesn't have the asterisk. He can't go out there. He's got it. Good. 33 equals 18. Good. 3 nothing. And don't the Bucks take the ball? Yeah, the Bucks get the ball. And just like that, man, some back and great back and forth. So the Bucks score and they get the ball back. To end the first half, nice. And just like in real life, the Bucks led. The Buccaneers just rallied another on 18B6 using the uh, basic game allocator instead of the uh, old board as a uh, written uh, fumble. 18 yard loss, sack fumble. Ball flies over Grogan's head, whatever. Gun recovers it and the Buccaneers what a nice little drive there. Could have been a touchdown pass. That that one from Dickinson, that 66-1, had it been a long pass, would have been a touchdown. Green rolls at 33-18, could have been even longer. So, 30 plays, kickoff. When we come back, Bucks score and get the bloody ball back. 